There is a market and rising female predominance in multiple sclerosis, whereby the disease is thought to be approximately three times more prevalent in females. This renders interesting notion that sex hormones might be important in mediating MS risk. Transgenderism or gender identity disorders have been described as an extreme form of gender dysphoria characterized by strong and persistent identification with opposite sex. The pathophysiology of these diseases is likely to be complex, incorporating hormonal derangement, social cultural factors and genetic predisposition. And similarly, their treatment involves hormonal therapy and potential surgical sex reassignment. This led us to hypothesize that perhaps an altered balance of sex hormones in males with gender identity disorders might both inherently and secondary to treatment in undergoing male to female conversion increase their MS risk. So to study this we conducted a retrospective cohort study by analyzing linked English National Hospital episode statistics. These hospital episode statistics incorporate abstracts of every episode a day case or inpatient care that has taken place in any English National Health Service hospital between 1999 to 2012 um, drawing on a population of more than 50 million people. Um, so we identified cohorts of both males and females who had gender identity disorders by identifying the first recorded episode in which a gender identity disorder or sexual transformation procedure was coded. We also constructed a reference cohort by identifying individuals who had been admitted for various other mainly minor medical and surgical conditions. To try and give us some idea of the temporal relationship, we excluded any individual who'd had an admission with multiple sclerosis either before or at the same time as their admission with the gender identity disorder or reference condition. Uh, we then searched for any, the subsequent rates of MS in each of these cohorts. We stratified and standardized by age, the year of first recorded admission, region of residence and socioeconomic status. All in all, we found that there were 1,157 males with gender identity disorders and 2,390 females. There were about 3 to 4 million people in each of the respective reference cohorts. The adjusted rate ratio of multiple sclerosis following gender identity disorders in males was 6.63 and highly significant based on four observed cases and 0.6 expected. In contrast, the adjusted rate ratio of MS following gender identity disorders in females was not insignificant and based on five observed cases and 3.5 expected. So our study therefore suggests that there is a positive association between gender identity disorders and subsequent MS risk in males, suggesting that low testosterone levels or feminizing hormones might be important in mediating their MS risk. The key strength of this study lies in the use of what is a huge data set to study an otherwise extremely difficult logistical undertaking. As I've mentioned, even drawing upon such a huge population, the numbers of cases were relatively small, but the results still perhaps striking. We hope that this study will highlight the need for further work to explore a potential role for sex hormones in management or prevention strategies of MS. Our findings are in line with previous work, including animal models suggesting neuroprotective or anti-inflammatory properties of testosterone, a demonstrated high prevalence of hypogonadism in males with MS, and improved cognitive function and slowed brain atrophy in a small pilot trial of testosterone. And similarly, it's supportive of our previous work, which has shown strong positive association and your five-fold elevation rates of MS following testicular hyperfunction in males. Beyond this, it might be that the risk of MS should be considered in counselling individuals wishing to undergo gender conversion or similar hormonal treatment for which long-term outcomes are not currently known. But I think, as, as I hope you'll agree, I think the demographic profile of MS is one of its most intriguing features and one which causal hypotheses will have to account for. Our study kind of suggests that in males there's low testosterone or feminizing hormones that might be particularly important in influencing MS risk. In terms of whether it's an effect due to an increased level of estrogen or a reduced level of testosterone in men isn't clear from our study, but certainly previous work has been consistent with low testosterone levels in particular being important in influencing MS risk. We do see that after puberty, for example, the sex ratio of multiple sclerosis vastly increases, so it's more equal between men and women before puberty, whereas after puberty you see a much higher prevalence of MS in women, which does again suggest that there is an important role for sex hormones and that is the key thing that we want to highlight with this study is that sex hormones hasn't been well characterized in terms of their influence on MS risk by looking at key periods or hormonal modulations and so not just puberty but also looking at the effect of pregnancy on relapses and the effect of menopause all 
suggest that these periods of hormonal modulation influence the MS disease scores and perhaps should be looked at in terms of how they might influence MS risk.